The French have decided that the terms mother and father are not only unfashionable, but unlawful. Albanian bishops are cracking down hard on those who kill for family honor, and pastors are throwing their hat in the ring and suggesting which candidate to endorse for president. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium, CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Mom and Dad Banned. France is set to ban the words mother and father from being mentioned in any public capacity in all of the country's laws and official documents. As the country moves to legalize homosexual marriage, the word parents will act as a substitute, while the draft law also seeks to redefine marriage as, quote, a union of two people of different or the same gender, end quote. Catholics in the country are outraged over the law, according to the Daily Mail, and bishops in the country are warning lawmakers that the legalization of same-sex marriage will also lead to legalized incest and polygamy in society as well. New York Archdiocese financial disorder. A former finance officer for the New York Archdiocese is pleading guilty to embezzling $1 million. Anita Collins, the former finance officer, admitted taking the money from the Archdiocese over a period of years to buy an expensive doll collection with monies intended for running a central office for some of the area's Roman Catholic schools. Archdiocese staffers and outside auditors first spotted the theft in December and alerted the district attorney's office. Collins said she is unable to pay the archdiocese back and she will serve at least four and a half years behind bars for her crime. The archdiocese of Philadelphia has also had money embezzled by their financial officer recently who also took one million dollars. Pastors preaching politics. Over 1,000 pastors will be preaching on a very specific topic come Sunday, October 7th, telling their flock to vote for a special presidential candidate disregarding IRS laws for tax-exempt organizations. This isn't the first time it's happened. The event, called Pulpit Freedom Sunday, occurs annually and is organized by the Christian group Alliance Defending Freedom. Pastors will preach about the election, endorse a particular candidate, record the sermon, and send it to the Internal Revenue Service. A lawyer for Alliance Defending Freedom explains that the main purpose of the event is to ensure that it's not the IRS, but the pastor, who decides what is proclaimed from the pulpit. The lawyer went on to admit that the event is a direct constitutional challenge. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Election Day actually starts this week in many states across America. The National Conference of State Legislatures says 32 states and the District of Columbia offer some form of early in-person voting. As America heads into this early voting stage, Obama leads Romney in all swing states except North Carolina, according to Real Clear Politics averages, also topping Romney by 126 electoral votes. Almost 30 percent of voters cast their vote before Election Day in 2008, and that number is expected to rise this year. Albanian bishops excommunicate killers. The bishops of Albania are announcing that they will excommunicate any Catholic who takes part in the practice of family feud revenge killings. The head of the Albanian diocese, Archbishop Masafra, said church leaders are, were alarmed at priest reports of an upsurge in such murders during 2012, as well as of worsening domestic violence and knew something had to be done. The final straw coming after a 17-year-old girl was killed. In a statement, Archbishop Masafra said, quote, People kill without hesitation in this bloody, barbaric system of revenge, often justifying their actions from a centuries-old tradition. They attach more importance to human tradition than the law of God, and through their murderous behavior trample on the gospel of life and the cross of Christ, end quote. According to the excommunication order, any Catholic person who kills for motives of revenge will be unable to participate in church services, attend confession, receive communion, or be buried in a church cemetery. Overexposure in the Sunshine State. 
Students in one Florida school district will be exposed for an entire month to the topic of homosexual history. The Broward County School District announced last week that it would support LGBT History Month in October for its K through 12 students, even though educators have hesitated to breach the subject with younger students in the past. The month devoted to homosexual history was, brought up, was thought up almost 20 years ago by a Missouri high school history teacher and has been celebrated by many public figures for years. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex where Michael talks about Obama voters and hell. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now churchmilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. Churchmilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.